Welcome back to another episode of Mr. J's Workshop. So I got a text uh, last night from Dave Telema. Uh, he has a Facebook channel called uh, Texas 750 Cruiser. His, his cruiser is called Jumbo. Uh, he was giving me a text in regards to the thermal guard that I was using here because he performed a lot of tests uh, with different materials to find the material that was more efficient. So he told me, I recommend that you really test your material before you use it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to run a test. So I, I, I got some duct work. I fastened the same thickness material that the firewall is made out of on this side and put the quarter-inch thermal guard F, uh, FR against that material. And I have a temperature probe on one side and temperature probe on the other side. And this is not exactly going to be a, 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 I guess it'll give you a good ballpark figure how well the material handles. Uh, but in real life, there's going to be airflow over the engine. So how hot that cowling actually gets, I can't predict that. This is just straight hot air. So let's, let's you know, I'll put a timer on and let's heat this up and see what kind of results we get. I uh, got my heat gun on this side. All right, and we'll set the timer. We'll be back in a little bit. We have 468 degrees on the heat gun side and 140 degrees on the outside with no airflow simulating the, uh, the cowling uh, of the aircraft flying. So I really think that was an awesome test. Uh, considering there's no airflow uh, uh, going over this to simulate the cooling of the air coming through the cowling. Um, I was really impressed. This is only a quarter inch material. Uh, I got this stuff at um, Aircraft Spruce. It's a Thermoguard FR and it has shielding on both sides. Man, I would say that test was successful. Hey, give us a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.